Already? <sighs> Just what I needed. No, no, no. This is over. Come on, it's clear. The hell you been doing? Uh, the usual.
Come on, help me with this. Come on, this way. Better hurry it up. Sully, over here. I right, back up. Locked, of course. Lower me down. Anything down there? Uh, give me a sec. I'll check it out. Over here! Here. Back up, I'll shoot the lock. <laughs> ah, crap, come on. Sully! Help me out! This place is crawling with agents. Chloe and Cutter could be in real trouble. Where the hell could they be? <gasps> what the hell? Why aren't you in France? We're rescuing you? From what? Thought you were captured. Or worse. Wait, why? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Talbot ambushed us at the chateau. It was a trap. Yeah, we figured they must have followed you too. Well, yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So we might want to think about keeping it down a little. Uh, what happened to you two? We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete ripoff. <laughs> what? Mine's broken. Again? Look, just forget all that. You'll never guess what we've discovered. <laughs> I've got it all in here. <laughs> Not only did Elizabeth's spy network stretch all the way over here, but they were all part of some sort of hermetic secret society. 
The British Occult Secret Service, the School of Night, the Hellfire Club, the Order of the Golden Dawn, they're all connected. So John D. And Francis Walsingham and Walter Raleigh and even your mate Drake, they, they were all in on it. But for them, it was all about the power, controlling their enemies through espionage, deception, fear. 